There's not much amusing about what's happening at City Park these days. Crews would usually be in the process of setting up the amusement park for Ghost in the Oaks right now. Instead, it's eerily quiet. The gates are locked up tight, and the only thing in the Oaks is moss. Now, the restrictions that have been put in place uh, have greatly limited the park's revenue. City Park and CEO Bob Becker says there's no way he can unlock the amusement park's gates for the annual fundraiser as much as he'd like to. We're running through the park's reserves that we built up over 15 years. So this is not a sustainable kind of operation here. COVID-19 has derailed much of City Park's finances and operating revenue has fallen off sharply. And in fact, we've lost over $4 million since March as a result of the restrictions. Since the park can't host Ghost in the Oaks the usual way, people can buy party packs to do things like carve pumpkins at home. The CDC doesn't suggest things such as traditional trick-or-treating this year. Instead, the agency favors activities such as one-way trick-or-treating, where families can grab bags of candy set out for them, or small, outdoor, and socially distant costume parties. In Terrebonne Parish, Sheriff Tim Sonier says he won't ban Halloween. These kids are back to school. They can, uh, they can, we can afford to allow these children to have fun. Deputies will keep an eye out for things like crowds, but he expects parents to keep health in mind. Parents, be smart. Make sure your children are washing their hands and, uh, and, and doing all the safety precautions they can. But the more important thing, we really got to get back to normal. Back at City Park, they'd like that as well and hope this year will be a one-off. By transitioning to the new event uh, and the new format for, for this year, uh, we hope to make it a, a success as well. A goal of no tricks with treats this year. Danny Monteverdi, Eyewitness News. Well, the CDC has ranked different Halloween activities by risk. You can find a link to that information on our website.